I need to talk about the Bukayo Saka disrespect has gotten too far, ladies and gentlemen. The Bukayo Saka disrespect has gotten too far. And do me a favor, if you're watching this video right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this on the playback or you're watching this live, do me a favor, make sure you check out the full video as me and Gunnar Souls have gone in depth with everything. But we need to talk about this. Have you seen Michael Owen and what he said? Have you seen what Michael Owen said? No. Have you seen the disrespect that Bukayo Saka gets from certain people in the media? Michael Owen made uh, made his Eng uh, put made his England perfect eleven. He said his England eleven that he would start if he was Southgate for this upcoming Euros, right? And I think I need to just play it for you. Because it's you are all you're going to be in disbelief when you hear the eleven. Like to me, when I first heard it, I thought, you know what? Maybe it's satire. Maybe he's trolling. Maybe he's not serious. By the way, your Champions League nights might be on Thursday next season. It's mental. But besides that, let's 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 listen to what this guy said. Because this guy is absolutely must be. He must be on drugs. Surely he surely either he has some sort of bias towards Newcastle. He played for Newcastle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he won the Ballon d'Or with the He likes Cole Palmer, he likes Phil Foden. But yeah, this this right here, you guys gotta hear this. You guys gotta hear this. I'd say Carl Walker at right back, Luke Shaw if he's fit at left back. Um I'd be John Stones, Harry Maguire at centre half, Declan Rice as a six. Foden and Bellingham in front of him. I would then go, um, I've got to find a place for Cole Palmer. I'm going to put Cole Palmer as my right-sider. First first mistake right there. He's taking Bukayo Saka out of his, his natural position to put Cole Palmer in the right over Bukayo Saka, right? He's not and, finished yet. He's not put Saka And he's not even yet. done yet. Yeah, he's okay. not even done yet. He's already made a mistake there. I think taking Bukayo Saka out of the team where he's been one of England's best players. Don't forget, two-time England player of the season. He's taking out for Cole Palmer. But let's continue. I'm going to put Anthony Gordon as my left sider. And I'm going to put Harry Kane up front. Obviously. So then immediately he realizes, obviously, he's trying to backtrack. Right away, he's trying to backtrack. Obviously, you could switch. And, you know, throughout the... By the way, can the people in the chat hear what he's saying? Can you guys hear it? Yeah, yeah, we can hear it. Okay, please do let me know. And also, make sure you do like the video. But, yeah. Tournament, you could switch. So, you can bring Saka in on the right, put Cole Palmer out on the left if you have to, or Foden onto the left and Cole Palmer is back inside. I just have to find a place for Cole Palmer. I have to find a place for Phil Foden. And I really want pace on the left-hand side. They're sort of my... You know, and I only want one six. So they're my um, wish. That's my wish list. First of all, his smile, it just has to be satire. He must know that Arsenal, triggering Arsenal fans gets you views. Right now, I'm literally doing it right now. It's worked. It's worked. What His whole goal has worked. What he's wanted is to trigger us in a way where he gets views. And this is what they do. But they've gotten views out of me. But my opinion... They must be trolling. They must be trolling. They must be trolling. He must be serious. He must not be serious. Yes. Um, that team can change, will change. But I think it can only change two or three players. I mean, yeah, we're talking about 26 man squads or whatever now. But um, but I personally, I'd only envisage Saka coming in a little bit. As I say, people will argue that Gordon shouldn't start, but I love the thought of of having pace out there. So you could put him on the bench and, as I say, put a Foden and a, you know, a, um, a Saka and a Bellingham and a Cole Palmer as a, across that front four. So, yeah, I mean, there's lots of lots of different opportunities and alternatives, but that's probably what I'd go with. What do you have to say, bro? I mean, it's Michael Owen. What did you expect? Like, there's certain, yeah, do you know what it is, right? This is the thing that people need to understand. We're always going to be disrespected because our fans care too much. Like, why do you care what you have? He, him, Michael Owen. Like, why do you care? Him. Like, 
I, I get it if it's like someone that's actually quite like a Michael Richards says it, I'd get triggered. Because I'd be like, you know what? You're actually you're actually one of the better ones. But Michael Owen needs a I don't want him. He's stupid. He's a, he's an idiot anyway. He's the worst commentator or like pundit I've ever seen on TV. Like, brother, like you could give a five-year-old and do Michael Owen. It's fine, it's calm, it's it is what it is. Like for me, I am triggered because when you look at it. But Kyle Saka has been England's best performing player in most of these tournaments alongside Harry Kane. Into Harry Kane's more goal contribution. When you look at the France team, right? Who who played who who was the best player for France? Every single time Bakayo Saka comes off England news. So it is what it is. If you want to continue losing like they all do, because you know the problem with Michael Owen is right. The man's bought her because he was part of the golden generation that couldn't deliver. And this team may deliver. And they may deliver because of Bakayo Saka. Let's get it straight. But Kyle Saka is the face of England, and he always will be. You can put Phil Foden's better for City. You can do his better in the Premier League. But for England, but Kyle Saka is the man that's going to deliver. And that's the reality of it. Until people realise that, it is what it is, man. You really like... believe Bakayo Saka is the face of England? Yes. He's really? been the best performing English player in these English tournaments. No, no, no. I, I get that. I get that. Uh, we see, we all seen, we all seen this. Uh, we all, we all seen, we all seen. What do you call it? The player of the years, England player of the years, back to back seasons. Uh, he, he performed at the Euros at, at like nineteen years old. He performed at the World Cup last season at like twenty years old. He's been doing it for about four years now for England, and this is now his third tournament. He's going to be going into. I think he's a nailed on starter for these guys to be coming out and saying stuff like. Bakayo Saka should be on the bench for Foden. Or Bakayo Saka should be on the bench for, uh, what do you call it, Anthony Gordon or for uh, or for Cole Palmer. It's just, it's, at this point, it has to be satire. There, it, it can be their opinion, but they can't be serious. Look, look. They can't be serious. Look, Southgate does stupid things. Don't get it twisted, but he's not that stupid. Like, personally, for like my Arsenal, my Arsenal hat, I don't want Saka to play because I'd rather him go get whatever niggly injuries he's got sorted. But look, he's he is England's best player. Yeah, but Kyle Saka is definitely England's best player. And for some of the things that these guys come out with, did you hear what Jamie Carragher said today? Jamie Carragher said, Bruno, uh, he said something like, oh, um, Jude Bellingham plays for Real Madrid, but if I would, pre if, I would big, if I would compare anyone to Zidane, it's, fo it's Foden. I'm not. I'm not even. Sometimes, I just don't. No. I, I just don't get the comparisons. I just don't get. The, the thing is, right? It's harder to rate a player who hasn't delivered yet in terms of like trophies for his club than it is for a for a Foden who's in a world class team that are winning before he joined the team, still winning. Foden isn't the reason City win. Saka will be the reason why Arsenal win, and that's what they can't bear. Because to be fair, Foden this season was player of the season. I have said that, by the way. I have said that he's delivered this season. But what I'm saying, he's delivered in a club that was already delivering. Whether Foden's there or not, same with Cole Palmer. Whether Cole Palmer played for City or not, they were still going to win. You know, they're, they're I'm, not, not, even, I'm not even going down the race card or anything like that. I'm just simply saying, I feel like people are quick to disrespect Saka or forget about how good he is. But yeah, that, you know and why it is? Arsenal play. Look, look at Benjamin White. Benjamin White is outright the best left right back in the league this season. I honestly don't care. That is beef, internal beef between no, them. No, no, no. Forget them. Forget That's England. Forget do. those guys. I'm talking just general consensus that people have on Benjamin White, right? Is that oh, he ain't that good? The guy has been the most consistent right back in the league this season. Right, and he still doesn't get. He doesn't get. He doesn't get the credit when it comes to Bakayo Saka. He performs. He out. By the way, people said he had a poor season, and guess what? His numbers are the same. In a poor season, imagine when this Listen, guy has an okay season. By the way, I don't agree with you on that one. I do think the reason why they won the league this season is Foden. We were literally say, no, 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 no. Let me clarify it then, because clearly people don't listen. You got two ears, one mouth. Listen, and okay. then it's one. I said. Prior to this season, Foden isn't the reason, and he won't be the reason why City win. This season, yes, he stepped up. This is his first season where he's become the reason they win. But what I've said is City have already been winning. He's not the main reason they win. People okay. also said it when Rodri's not in the team. They don't say when Foden isn't in the team. They say when KDB isn't in the team. 
Let's be okay. real about it as well. But if we, okay, if I said to every single, let's actually, I'll take it out of Arsenal. Fight. Let's go to rivals. Take, let's say we had to go a season without Bakao Saka. Do we win the league? No. I can ask that to rivals. I can ask that to any player, any, without Bakayo Saka, let's say we take him out of this team this season. Do we win the league? No. But take Phil Foden out. Do they win the league? Yes. There's still a yes. You know the you know you know another funny thing, all these clubs are now looking for their Bakaya Saka, their youngster that can that can lead them, their Phil Foden. You know what I mean? And they're also all looking for their Mikel Arteta. Did you? Thank you for watching that short clip, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Of course, if you want to engage with the conversation, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the discussion that we just had, whatever it was. And also, I just need to say this. Thank you for watching up to this level, uh, this point of the video. If you haven't already left a like on the video, please do. If you watched up until this point, surely you like my content. So you'll you'll definitely hit the subscribe button. And for the foreseeable future, I do live streams. I do a lot of discussions around Arsenal. This is your home for Arsenal transfer news and, of course, other things. So please do subscribe and keep, keep a lookout by hitting that notification bell. I'm out, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day.